Next, we're going to talk about built-in function in Microsoft Excel. In the previous uh, lectures, we have gone through sub-procedures and functions in Microsoft Excel. So these functions that we were using here, these are known as user-defined functions because we were defining them. But there are some built-in functions available in uh, VBA, uh, which we generally use in our sub-procedures or functions itself. So for example, if I ask you to put a value in a cell, we use cells 1 comma 1 dot value is equal to something. And similarly, if I ask you to display something in the form of a message box, I was using message box as a function. So all these uh, predefined functions, which are already there in VBA, uh, these are known as built-in functions. And the functions which are new, which we define, are known as user-defined functions. Right, so let us first start with the first uh, category in the functions, in the built-in functions, which is interactive functions. So as the name says, uh, it is for the interaction between a user and the computer. So there may be two ways. Either computer is asking uh, you to input something or uh, uh, and you are entering some data in that. Or it may be like uh, computer is just displaying something in form of information. So one way is either you are providing some data to computer or the other way is either uh, the computer is uh, returning you something in the form of a uh, display dialog. So therefore two message, uh, two functions, one is message box and the other one is input box. So if we look at the first one, message box, we can see the arguments are prompt, buttons, title, help file and context. Now remember, uh, the arguments which you see here are prompt the rest of the arguments are in square brackets so all the arguments which you see in square brackets first of all keep in mind that these are optional arguments and the one which is not in square brackets is mandatory argument similarly here in input box also this one is mandatory these all are optional so that means uh, for a message box it is important to uh, put the prompt message at there so therefore when we were writing or when we were using message box function and we were simply entering any message here it was working it was not giving any error but you see that there are four other arguments which we can provide in the message box so when i run this i simply get the message if you now closely observe what you see here you see a dialog with a cross button with a ok button with a prompt message here with Microsoft Excel as a subject line and by default this appears at the center right so if I close it now if I look at the other arguments you see you can specify the prompt you can specify the buttons type you can specify the title you can specify the help file and context also so we'll go through these if I put a message box and if I need to specify all the arguments so I can use this is a prompt okay so that you can easily uh, identify which is prompt and which is a title now the second argument is uh, button set so you can see by default we have a lot of button sets available uh, here uh, and the default one is VB OK only that's why you were able to see only OK button there if you choose VB OK cancel you will be seeing two button one for OK and one for cancel let's choose VB the one which is having help uh, button also so that we can um, see the usage of help and context file also so i choose a button with the help button uh, if you look down here yeah this one vb message box with help button right so i choose this one the title this is my title the help file uh, so I have kept a help file on my desktop so I give the path of desktop and I kept the name as api.chm help files are generally HLP files or CHM files and the topic that you want to display on click of that button is known as the context so every topic has a context number if you want to go to the beginning you just put zero here and since this uh, entire thing would be returning something the reason is if you have only one button the ok button uh, 
it knows that nothing is uh, gonna happen only it is a information right that is presented to user and you once user clicks ok it need to move uh, ahead but let's say you have two or three buttons one for ok one for cancel then how would the next statement get to know that which button was pressed for that we need to save that information somewhere which we can use later on let's say i save that information in a variable and this uh, output uh, this value comes in the form of an integer so i declare a as integer right so i'll show you the value also right let's say i further display this value in a message box okay so let's see what happens so this is my title the title appears here this is my prompt which appears here i can see two buttons now one for okay one for cancel there is a close uh, button here once i click on help it opens the api uh, chm file which was present on my desktop and it uh, refers to the index uh, the first page of index no no topic if i click on ok now it goes to the next statement it says one right so if i now show you one more thing let's say i remove this help file context and let's say i choose another button set vb ok cancel right now if i run it you see when i click ok it returns me one but when i click cancel it returns me two so every button has a different code associated with it so that user or when a programmer writes in logic that okay if a user press, press ok i want to do this action and if a user press cancel i want to perform this action so for that you need the value uh, to be saved somewhere so i can further use it val use its value something like if a is equal to one then do something and if a is not one then do something else so that's why we we need to store this value so that we can take a call later on so that's the purpose of uh, saving it in a value and it is uh, required if you ha choose uh, other button set uh, then we be okay only right if you do not choose the, that particular button set then it is not a uh, mandatory to uh, save it in a variable you can choose it directly as it is right so it does not give any error so that's all about uh, message box let's move on to the next one so in message box you have seen that uh, the the system is returning you something in the form of an information and further you hit any button to to feed your uh, action what you have chosen and in the next one we'll read about input box so input box you can see again we have prompt title default x position y position and the two variables for help references so if i say that this is help and if i put a title here default is the default text which is here so initially let's say i remove this and i simply run it like this so we can see a default title of uh, microsoft Excel. i can see a prompt which i entered there there is no text written here that means the default value of this text box is blank i can see two buttons one for ok one for cancel and a close button right so this is a help right the second one is title title here then the default value of the text box let's say i put my name there x coordinate by default you saw that input box here in the center if you want to display it at a particular coordinate you can choose the x and y coordinates right and then you know that there were two buttons available there one for ok one for cancel that's why you need to store the result somewhere dim a as integer this value we can use some uh, for, for later calls so you can see the default text is coming as Kamal the position here is on the top left corner which is uh, 100 pixels away from left and 200 pixels away from top so we have two buttons one for ok one for cancel this is my title this is my help so if I press an ok button it, it gives me type mismatch error because uh, the uh, uh, input that I am giving here was a text and I have taken the variable as string so I need to use string here 
that input will go here uh, in the variable a which we can see again in a message box now if i run it you will see i've entered uh, that this is the default value which is going and it prints camel because the value is going was camel if i change the value to something else that will flow there in the variable right so that's all about input box uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me in the next videos we'll learn uh, more about uh, the functions which we have under built-in functions thank you bye bye